Can yeah. you show me how to do it? Yeah. Let me see. You first. Yeah. Show me how it works. Whoa. Okay, go back this way. Yeah. Go back that way. Let me see. Good job, buddy. Good job. Wow, all the way up the hill. Okay, I did a Target and Walmart pickup. It is not very many things, just kind of random stuff. So I will show that to you. There's some of it on the table and then some of it out in the barn. Okay, this is Target. I ordered vanilla jello. I had no jello in the pantry and they substituted it for four banana creams, which is a little frustrating, but okay, we'll make some banana pudding or something. And then for chocolate, we are in a really, really small space with all six of us. And I don't normally buy these, but some air freshener is kind of needed. So I bought three of those. We're gonna try them in the closets and small spaces. And then this looked good, this hun honey chipotle dressing. I'm gonna make a Southwest salad and we will see if we like that. And when I make Asian dishes, I always like to have these water chestnuts and I didn't have any here. I got two gluten-free Annie's pasta, one with shells and one with just the regular noodles two of the oil-free face moisturizers. This is a clipper set for Brian to cut Evan's hair. He has not had a haircut in almost three months and it is definitely time. And then Brian and I just finished these Dove chocolates. Y'all were so funny in the last video. Y'all commented and gave me all your fun hiding spots for mom chocolates. So that worked because they lasted us the whole month. And then I got Brian this Blackstone cleaning kit. It has different tools to clean the Blackstone. Our Blackstone was on the back patio during the fire and was okay. So we've used it a couple of times. It's just kind of hard to clean without the right equipment. So hopefully that will help him. These dum dum are for Evan. We use these um, to kind of distract him sometimes or when we're out and about and he's getting fussy, these help just kind of redirect and it's amazing what a little sucker will do. Um, I didn't have any staples, but I did get my stapler back from the restoration company. One more pack of college ruled notebook paper. So that was all from Target. And this is Walmart, four cans of the Great Value Pumpkin. This is the shampoo and conditioner that my son Everett has been using, so I get him one of those a month. And then two of the face washes, and this is the shampoo that I've been using, the Suave Rosemary and Mint, so I got two of those. And this is just for the medicine cabinet. We are slowly rebuilding the things that we lost. Same with these alcohol pads when we we're checking for fevers a couple weeks ago. I always wiped down the thermometer with this and did not have, whoop, excuse me, did not have those. Some antibiotic ointment for cuts and then some pumpkin pie spice. And with the holidays and baking coming up, I got two of these marshmallow creams, two jars of banana peppers, four tomato paste, two of the mushroom, canned mushrooms, two of the gluten-free cream of mushroom, and I have two, I, I ordered two cream of chicken, but I guess they were out. Evan takes my plastic measuring spoons 
we call them tappers and he taps like drums to all his music and I, they've lost, I've lost most of them. So I got this metal set. I'm actually gonna put it in a drawer where he won't be able to find it. So when I'm cooking, I actually have what I need. I got two things of gluten-free Oreos, the double stuff. And then I bought this one that's not double stuff for a recipe that I didn't end up making because we ate the Oreos. So maybe this month is the month. Two cans of crushed tomatoes. I ordered great value. They substituted this Hunt's. And then we already used half of one of these. We had Caesar salad, I guess yesterday. So I got two of these Caesar dressings, some gluten-free breads for me. I got some ciabatta rolls and just some white bread and some gluten-free pretzel crisps. I got the Aldi brand for the other the other people to be eating. Okay, this is my grocery haul once a month to that is still needing to be put away. We are in our barn. So this is the part of the barn that is not finished. The other part through the store is where we are living. Up there is my attic space that's over our living space and here's our washer dryer these lights are not working and we do not have a ladder tall enough to fix them so unfortunately without this door open it is really dark in here this light helps at night to just open up or light up this space we've got our fridges and freezers so the only other thing for walmart out here is i got these two um automatic spray the great value my mother-in-law had bought me this mop right when the fire happened and we have used up all of these so i got two of those and then right here three apple juices and lastly this the wet mopping cloths when we don't want to use the spray so brian is leaving tonight to go. I'm going to go out here where it's lighter. Brian's leaving tonight to go to our first playoff game. Everett won't be able to play because he dislocated his shoulder again. We actually have surgery scheduled now. If you watched, I guess one of my videos previously, I talked about we had two surgery appointments, pre-op appointments. My Elizabeth just had wrist surgery yesterday. She had a cyst removed that was in her right wrist. If you've watched, whoops, sorry. If you've watched some of our cooking videos, I've made comments before when she's been helping me, she had to tape her wrist for years. It would, it was a ganglion cyst and it would swell up and then pop and go away. So um, anyway, she's doing really good. She must have a really high pain tolerance because when she got her wisdom teeth out, she handled it like a champ and she wants to go to the game with him tonight. She's in some pain and taking just over-the-counter Tylenol, but doing really good. We just rescued one of our black kitties. So we have five of our nine farm kitties that were born the night of the fire remaining. I have promised Brian that I would put a few more of them on like our neighborhood page looking for homes. We can't have seven outdoor cats. I got one of our mamas fixed and the other one is scheduled to go in and then I definitely want to keep the two black babies. But now that they're older, they're 11 weeks, their personalities, they've just, you just get so attached to them that I always am too busy to put them on, but here's one. Here's one of the orange ones. I don't know, they're all so, so pretty and they have such different personalities. I kind of want to keep them all, but I think once they get big, it will be a lot. They don't require much. Um, they definitely have been eating snakes and all of that stuff and mice, so many mice. We feed them, I feed them in the morning and it, um, in the morning and, the, and in the evening, but they don't usually even finish that bowl, I think because they're eating so many other things. 
so that's something that I'm gonna have to just do this weekend and say goodbye to some of them. I need to do it before they get too big when people won't actually want them. A kitten is more appealing, I guess. going to put extra drinks the kitties are going crazy on it and then up here I have some extra some extra wipes I've got more coming so I will go through this kind of stuff with Brian I'm not exactly sure what to do with it we've got our grill stuff our smoker stuff some extra chips Evans rice rusks that we always like to keep a lot of these are our extra waters we filled the fridges so these are the extra boxes some mason jars our extra canned goods and then on the bottom is just some extra cleaning supplies okay up here is Evan's diapers and check pads and things like that I've got an empty shelf here but I also have more toilet paper and paper towels coming so I have our extra laundry laundry soap trash bags down here I think is more more diapers and then in this freezer we have most of our beef and then some of the stuff from Walmart that I did not show you in the grocery haul. I forgot we'd bought some freezer stuff. And then back down here are all of our meat birds that I, um, that we harvested. We've cooked one and I've got one going in the crock pot. That look, we match. Right. We match. Ooh, look at this. Um, okay, so he's gonna debone. Is that what you call it? The chicken? Mm -hmm. 